I'm Pat Patterson, I'm a technical director at uh, Streamsets where I work with our open source community and I help uh, enterprises move data for, uh, between systems. Streamsets was founded about four years ago to create a new generation of data integration tools. So really we're about moving data from uh, source to destination systems in the world of continuous streaming and big data. And uh, as we've moved away from relational databases, we've moved away from the traditional uh, ETL world of static schema. And really that's where we find ourselves is with working with uh, uh, changing data, changing metadata and being a flexible tool to uh, build those pipelines and also to allow companies to run their data flow operations in an efficient way. So with master data management we need to integrate data from a variety of sources and join it together in the O4J so that we can run analyses across those relationships that are just not uh, feasible or even possible in uh, when the data is spread out among different systems. So I think uh, the future, Emil spoke this morning about Neo4j becoming a data store in its own right rather than just a point tool for visualization and analysis. And I think that's really interesting because it means that uh, enterprises are going to want to move data into that data store, um, read it from that data store, and it becomes part of their data operations. So for us, that's, uh, we see Neo4j becoming more and more important as uh, a data store that we work with. I've been working with Neo4j for about uh, 18 months now, and I have to say it's always a pleasant experience. The tools are very stable, uh, very performant, and uh, it's a joy to build an integration with Neo4j.